morning. So, in this video, we are going to see a recruitment news from Baba Atomic Research Center, that is BARC, and its branch of Tarapur and Kalpakam is recruiting for the post of stipendary trainees for two categories. Okay, so we are going to see all details in this video. There is a post details, qualification, application procedure, selection procedure, everything we are going to see in this video. Okay, and also I want to tell you that even though it is a trainee recruitment, if you successfully complete the training, you will be appointed as a permanent position. That is, your job will be permanent. Okay, so let us see the post details first. So, uh, there are two categories of stipendary trainee recruitments happening. The first one is stipendary trainee category 1 and the qualifications that uh, they are asking for these category 1 recruitment is diploma. Okay, And for the category 2, the qualifications they are asking is from uh, plus 2 qualification onwards and also mainly ITI they are asking for this category 2 stipendary trainee recruitment. Okay, So, let us see the post details for category 1 first. So, the branches they are calling for the category 1 recruitment are mechanical with 13 vacancy, electrical 6, chemical 7, civil 13, electronics 3, instrumentation 4 and chemistry 4. Totally 50 vacancies is there for stipendary trainee category 1. Okay. And the qualification that you are requiring is diploma in the respective branches and also for the chemistry you are requiring a BSc chemistry again with 60% of mark. So, only if you have 60 percentage of mark, you should apply, okay. So, that is the uh, first area or first uh, type of recruitment, that is stipendary trainee category 1. Next one, stipendary trainee category 2, the branches they are calling are plant operator with 15 vacancy, AC mechanic 1, vacancy fitter with 45 vacancy, welder with uh, 5 vacancies, electrician with 6 vacancy, electronic mechanic with 11 vacancy and there is a lot of other uh, vacancies up to 12 uh, posts they are actually recruiting and total vacancies is 106 okay so this is actually a very big recruitment there is 106 openings is there entirely for the stipendary trainee category 2 and the qualifications we are requiring is ITI or NTC or for some uh, posts they are only asking HSC that is higher secondary requirement uh, higher secondary is the qualification requirement and you have studied you should have studied physics, chemistry and maths as your subjects. Okay. So, that is the requirement for the category 2 recruitments. Okay. So, these are the two categories of recruitments happening and the age limit also they have mentioned specifically. So, the age limit for category 1, the minimum age limit is 18 and the maximum limit is 24. This is for category 1. For category 2, the age limit is minimum is 18 again, maximum is 22 years. Okay. So that is the age limit and also there will be age relaxation for all the reserved categories for just like any other government of India recruitments. Okay. So next talking about the stipend during training. Okay. So the first two years will be training period. After completing the training successfully, again as I have told in the beginning, you will get the job as permanent. Okay. So let us discuss the stipend during your training period. For the category 1, for the first year, the stipend is 16,000 rupees per month. Then, for the second year, the stipend is 80,000 rupees per month. For the category 2, that is for ITI people, for the first year, stipend is 10,500. For the second year, it is 12,500. Okay, so this is the range of stipend. The stipend is actually very good. Even if it is for 2 years, it is very good. Okay, but it is actually not 2 years. It is actually a permanent job. Okay, next is the selection methodology. So, they have also mentioned uh, about the selection process in very detail in the notification itself. But we will be doing it as a separate video. But I will be giving a brief about the selection process anyway in this video itself. Okay. So, just know that for the category 1, that is for diploma, there is a written examination going to happen for the selection process. The written examination will be having a 40 objective type of questions. And it will be from your respective trade itself. That is whichever diploma trade you are belonging to. From that respective trade, the questions will be. And... For correct answers, you will be getting 3 marks. For wrong answer, 1 mark will be deducted. Okay. So, this is the marking scheme. Also, they have mentioned. And after you successfully complete your uh, written examination, that is, if you pass the written examination, you have to face an, an, uh, an interview. Okay. So, after written examination, there is an interview also. So, that is the selection methodolo methodology for category 1 recruitment. For the category 2, there is actually 3 stage of selection. 
stage one is a preliminary test which is having uh, subjects like math science and general awareness there will be 50 questions uh, will be there for this stage one examination for the stage two this is uh, actually an advanced test which will be having questions from your respective uh, trade we'll be seeing about the details in the next video okay so just know that there is an advanced test which is related with your trade that is whichever branch you are belonging to that branch questions then stage 3 is actually a skill test. Okay. So these are the three stages of selection. As I have told, we will be doing a separate video for this bark selection process, exam pattern and all in a separate video. Okay. So please do wait for that video if you are interested in applying. So next is uh, the level of pay after you complete your training successfully. Okay. So if you are completing your two years training successfully, you will get the job as permanent for the category one you will be appointed a scientific assistant c with your salary upgraded to 44900 okay so if you are interested in applying please do see the notification and apply fast next for the category two these people will be appointed as technician b and technician c categories and the salary will be 21700 and 25500 okay so this will be your salary or the pay level if you are completing this, uh, the training for two years. Okay. So that next is the application procedure. So for applying the application procedure or methodology is online only. You have to go to recruit.bark.gov.in. That is the site you have to follow. I will be posting that link in description also. And then you have to apply online. You will be seeing the link for this type entry trainee recruitment. Just click on that and apply by filling up all your details. Your photo, qualification details, everything. Okay. And the application is also having a fees. So for the category one, the fees is 150 rupees and uh, SCST persons with disabilities and women candidates are exempted from the fees. Okay. So for category one recruitment, fees is 150 rupees. And for category two, the fees is 100 rupees. Again, SCST people, ex-serviceman and women category are exempted from the fees. Okay. So if you uh, see the fees, the level of fees for the other government recruitments and this recruitment it is actually very less comparatively okay so please do apply for it if you are eligible so that is the application procedure application procedure is online only anyway you can also see an application form towards the end of this notification okay and also you can apply from 15th of december to 31st of january 31st of january is the last day to apply there is enough time but don't wait till that if you think that you are eligible please first read the notification uh, in detail see all the areas like the qualification age limit everything and if you think that you are eligible please to apply for it as soon as possible okay so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with all your friends who are having qualifications of iti diploma and all and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching